Good morning, Grayson County High School. Today is Monday, November 7th, and these are your daily announcements. Any senior interested in an internship opportunity at McAllister Mills next semester should see Miss Lawson in the Kate office. Elks Scholarship, the Elks Most Valuable Student Scholarship, is now available. Applications can be found at a website. I'm not reading that. Application <laughs> deadline is November 30th. Way to go, Devin. Today's activities, basketball will be playing Carroll County Intermediate at GCHS. Girls will be at 6 p.m. and the boys will be at 7.15. Come out and support your Blue Devils. Christmas time is here. The girls' tennis team is currently taking orders for Christmas wreaths and roping. Please see Miss Butler, a member of the tennis team, or come by the main office or Kate Center office to order. Delivery dates, <coughs> excuse me, are November 21st and December 5th. Attention New Baton inductees, please pay your $25 dues to Miss Bartlett in room 106 as soon as possible. ASAP. Yearbooks, get your yearbooks. Your books are now on sale. The books are $50. $50? Until December 9th. Whoa. Get them now. After that date, the price will increase. You can pick up an order form from the main office or from Ms. Jones or a yearbook staff member. You might want to check with them, though. Make sure they have them. Today's lunch menu is hot dog or chicken patty on bun, sweet potato fries, pinto beans, fruit, and milk. Sounds delicious. The Harry Bird Scholarship. Applications are available in the guidance office now. Students planning on going to a four-year institution and have financial need are eligible to apply. Deadline is November 11th. November the 4th through November the 10th is National French Week. To kick off the celebration, we have a letter from President Barack Obama. The October 31st, 2014, we received a letter from Barack Obama. It right? says, I send warm greetings to all of those uh, observing National French Week. For generations, shared ideals and bonds of friendship have connected America and the French-speaking world. As our oldest ally, France has enriched our spirit as a nation. From the Statue of Liberty and the streets of New Orleans to the battlefields on which our independence was won and the grounds on which our capital was built, today, French influence continues to resound throughout our culture in the names of our cities and our own language and in so many aspects of our lives. Yes. The alliance between the United States and France only deepens. And America also maintains a long-standing and close relationship with French-speaking nations and people across the globe, globe, which includes Canada. Good friend of Canada. During National French Week, we celebrate not only the beauty of the French language, but also the ways in which its rhythm helps tell the story of our own country. Through the contributions of visitors and French-speaking communities in America alike, by teaching and promoting French in our schools, universities, and neighborhoods, we help carry this proud legacy forward, ensuring it can live on in each gen new generation. I wish you all the best for engaging and inspiring week. Signed, Barack Obama. As the French would say, le say, le bon, Tim Roulet. Stay educated, my friends. Now, off to your words of wisdom with Austin Hagen. Here's today's words of wisdom. At the end of life, what really matters is not what we bought, but what we built. Not what we got, but what we shared. Not our competence, but our character. And not our success, but our significance. Live a life that matters. Live a life of love. America! We'll see you back here on the streets of Paris, Wednesday, Grayson County. Same Blue Devil, Devil time, same Blue Devil, Devil channel. Devil channel. Hey, oh, bonjour! We're going to...